perks of this incredible job is working with people from different generations. At any given day, I'll go on a shoot with my millennial producer and a Gen X camera woman on a story that was researched by my Gen Z intern. This kind of intergenerational collaboration is key to problem solving. That's according to a new study released today by the We Are Family Foundation. Of nearly 1,000 people surveyed, almost all believe that intergenerational collaboration can generate positive change. Now, 87% see potential in youth solutions for global challenges, but only 19% think youth are given enough opportunities to contribute. And as our Becky Anderson found out in New York, we are family foundation set up by music legend Nile Rogers is working to close that gap. At just 19 years old, Sneha Ravenor is the youngest of Time's 100 most influential people in artificial intelligence. This year, Ravenor was able to take her ideas to the World Economic Forum through the support of the We Are Family Foundation. Now we've built this coalition of experts and leaders and public figures who are standing alongside us as young people in partnership with thousands of young people, you know, university clubs and youth groups who've signed on to this joint intergenerational call for global AI action. Ravenor is one of many ambitious young leaders backed by the We Are Family Foundation, a non-profit founded by the music legend Nile Rogers, which is dedicated to nurturing young talent and promoting diversity. AI ethicist Neha Shukla, agriculturalist Jefferson Kangacha, and environmentalist Russell Reed, all trying to solve some of the biggest issues of our time. You all believe that you need a seat at the table. Why? As young people who are stakeholders in the climate crisis in a planet that's on fire, this is emotional work. And so what I realized is that a lot of the power, a lot of what we bring as young people, bringing solutions to the table, working on this every day, is that we won't separate the professional and emotional dimensions of our work. And I'm not willing to, you know, leave my emotions at the table to get a point across. It's part of the point. What's been your experience? I think young people bring this sense of hopeful urgency. I mean, despite young people growing up in this world, seeing climate change, wars, pandemics, and AI disinformation, we're still incredibly um, hopeful and kind of filled with a sense of urgency to take action. Absolutely. I think one of the greatest power we have as young generation mm -hmm. is in how we gather, is in how we get to build community. And that community can be supported by having amazing collaborators give us the opportunity to stand on their shoulders. And that was my opportunity at the United Nations um, Conference on Climate Change. Niall Rogers began writing We Are Family when he was just 16 years old. I was really young and I just happened to run into people who were a bit older than me who saw my potential. It's, it's a great example of working with intergenerational youth because I certainly was youth. <laughs> That's the kind of youth we're talking about. It's those people with those big hearts, with those incredible vision of a future that could be better than the reality that we're living in now. German software giant SAP has started putting these leaders on its advisory boards. We have commitments to hire more young people and to bring them into more of these boards and, and these other important positions to advise our leaders. Proof that with the right support, young people can define their own futures. And ours. <laughs>